All right, um, today's also uh, another big day. It's a national day of prayer as well, an annual observance held on the first Thursday of May annually, inviting people of all faiths to pray for the nation. And joining us this morning is the pastor of the New Spirit Revival Center and author of the book, Nothing to Lose, Unlikely Allies in the Struggle for a Better Black America. Pastor Daryl Scott with us this morning. Pastor, nice to have you back on. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. Uh, Pastor, this is one of those one of those days um, that sort of I think many people aren't even aware uh, that it happens each and every year. Uh, but it should resonate with people this year, much like hopefully it did last May as well. Uh, what can people do today to make sure that they're taking a moment and just being um, grateful and thankful for all the blessings that that we do have in spite of everything going on? I mean, it's a time for us to have some inner reflection, some self-examination, to go before God and. Uh, to thank him for his mercy, thank him for his grace, thank him for his continued hand upon this nation. But I think we should adjust it somewhat, especially in these times that we live in, and maybe we can have a leader that would have a national day of repentance, where we repent of our sins as a nation to the Lord and try to reinstitute and re um, focus on the moral uh, values and the moral boundaries that we have as a people. I mean, this country is getting kind of out of hand. Uh, the more the left um, has control over the direction of this nation, the further we seem to drift from God. You know, under, under the last administration, every year, the National Day of Prayer was a solemn occasion. We would have an occasion at the White House, and there would be prayers that went up for this nation. I'm interested to see what goes on going forward. But, um, yes, once again, it's something that we should take time out, get our families or whatever, and, and go before God and ask God for his continued hand and his continued protection upon this nation because his hand has been on America from our very outset. Hmm, his absolutely. hand has always been upon this country and we wanted to remain there. We don't want to stray from him. This country was founded for the purpose of religious freedom. I think people forget that yes, all too often. And you're right. You know, I don't care what we've got going on in our crazy everyday lives. Whenever something's really going on and you really need help with something, whatever it is, we all reach out to God. Uh, whoever that God might be, we all do the same thing. Um, of course, with the racial injustice happening right now in this country, you just mentioned that, the coronavirus, we know all about that. What would you say to someone who might be watching Wake Up America here on Newsmax and, and, and might be really struggling? Well, I tell them that they need to go to God. I recognize God as the God of the Bible. And through His uh, Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, they can go to Him, repent of their sins, request a relationship with Him, and receive uh, an inner witness, a divine uh, influx of his Holy Spirit to help you through whatever chaotic times you're having in your life, whatever confusion that you have, there's answers mm. in the Word of God. You can have a relationship with the one true and living God. Uh, final question for you. I just, I, President Trump, our, our former president, he, he put so much emphasis throughout his four years in office on religion, which is not something we see our American presidents do all the time. Uh, how would you evaluate the, the Biden administration? Are, are they doing enough uh, to make sure that, that religion is still important to, uh, to the American people? You know, there's a script in the Bible where it says, the people draw near to me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. And that's what I see in the evidence of the Biden administration. Biden claims to be a devout practicing Catholic. However, in, 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 in practice, you know, in profession, he professes to be a devout practicing Catholic, but his practice doesn't line up with his profession. And it seems as if he's uh, leading this nation away from God rather than more to God. He rarely acknowledges God unless he uses uh, his name to score political points or as a, as a byword or a catchphrase in a speech. But in practice, he doesn't seem to be trying to establish any type of spiritual barometer for this nation to follow. Uh, he's just, he wants to seem to do everything uh, to score political points. Yeah, only our second Catholic president ever, our first since, uh, since John F. Kennedy. John you think F. that Kennedy. would be celebrated yeah. more. Uh, Pastor Daryl Scott, so good to see you again. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. God bless you. All right. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.